colors are really my favorite skincare category out of all the categories, closely followed by serums. So it was really hard to pick my favorites for the year 2023, but I did my best and I landed on five really fantastic key beauty toners that just Oh, I've just made my year. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Ulrike. I am a key beauty and skincare content creator and have been since 2015 for a long time. Really happy to have you with me on the skincare journey. And let's talk about amazing, truly amazing toners. Let's start with my probably if I had to choose only one, probably my favorite toner of the year, it has really impressed me. I'm not sure why TikTok is so focused and adamantly focused on the Anoa Heart Leaf Toner, because honestly, this is the better alternative, if you ask me. And it's this one, which I have, I've used quite a lot. Look at this. I mean, this is a huge bottle and I've used a lot of toners this year. So this tells you how much I love it. This is the Numbers In Pure Full Calming Herb Toner. Sometimes I think it has a different name. So it, Numbers In is sometimes a bit weird because sometimes the product have two names. Anyway, that's this is the one I have. It's the green toner, basically. <laughs> um, Okay, so why do I think this is a better product than the overly hyped Anua Heartleaf Toner, which by the way is a fine toner. I'm not saying that the Anua Toner is a scam or an industry plant. I've seen some wild accusations thrown at the Anua Toner lately. I don't know, TikTok is just always very black and white. When it comes to skincare, they demonize something one day and then celebrate it as the second coming and the best thing in the world. The next day, the, the Anua toner is fine. It's a fine, basic toner. However, I always feel it's a little bit watered down, if you ask me. I don't think it's as hydrating as people claim. And I don't think it's as potent in terms of the plant extracts, especially the heart leaf, as people claim, this toner to me, so much better, so much more impressive, especially when it comes to combating redness and just overall soothing the skin. This does contain heart leaf. It also contains Centella Asiatica and licorice extract or licorice water, one of the two, which is wonderful for soothing, but also has slightly brightening uh, properties. These three combined, Heartleaf, Centella, and um, the licorice, to me, just work with, in such perfect synergy to really help with inflamed skin, angry skin, redness-prone skin. And I think this is a really good toner also for people with the acne-prone skin. Again, I think much better than the Anua toner. More soothing, more calming, Kind of, when it comes to hydrating, I would say on the same level as the Anua toner, but just more elegant overall, and again, more potent. The Anua toner to me often feels kind of like water on the skin, to be honest. I know it claims to have 77% heart leaf extract. It doesn't always feel that way. When I use this toner, and also the toner pads are also they're so good. <laughs> They're just chef's kiss. Whenever I use the toner, this one, my skin just instantly calms down and it really does help with redness. It doesn't get rid of the redness completely. For me, really, my redness will always just be a part of my skin. I'm also kind of pink toned, which often turns just into being red. So, you know, it's not much I can do, but it helps. And it helps better than most other toners I've tried that are hyped up on social media when it comes to, you know, combating redness. It won't cure your acne, but if you have skin barrier issues and if your skin overall deals with inflammation, I do think this is a fantastic addition for anyone with acne prone skin. I love, love, love this toner. It's also fragrance free, alcohol free, very, very gentle formula overall. 
make this the next viral toner please because it really deserves it in my opinion and another toner that i feel deserves more viral hype here in the west it is already very popular in korea is this one which i did show already in a video i think not too long ago well i don't know i've kind of pre-filmed a couple of videos so i don't know when i <laughs> At this point in time, I'm not sure when it came out or if it already has come out, but I'm guessing it has at this point. This is the Bring Green Tea Tree Sika Soothing Toner, which looks like this. They repackaged it. They rebranded all the Bring Green products one by one. And it is as popular as it was before, pretty much. The reason why I like this one so, so much is, first of all, because it has a really lovely, simple, refreshing texture. And then I also love the combination of tea tree and Sika. When I have breakouts, this is the one I go for. I would say over the, probably over the numbers in toner. They're kind of neck and neck when it comes to um, rec my recommendation for acne prone skin. I would recommend both of them. I think the numbers in toner works better if you have sensitive skin because tea tree can be quite volatile especially since this also contains tea tree essential oil not everyone does well with tea tree however my skin has always loved tea tree even when i was still a teenager i always did really well with tea tree products when i had really severe acne that was one of the things that i consistently used because it really helps just calm down my skin and it really does seem to have a very positive antibacterial effect on any breakouts. It really seems to also help with inflammation, redness, comparable to the numbers in toner. And I just really love how hydrating it is. And that was surprising for me because uh, it's very watery. It's basically like water. And it honestly does not contain that many hydrating ingredients, but it always feels very hydrating in a very refreshing way. Perfect toner for hot weather as well, humid weather. If you live in uh, humid and hot climates, this is a wonderful one to choose. I have a feeling this will be my preferred toner in summer. It's wonderful. And Bring green, the whole tea tree line is very interesting to me. I also like the moisturizer a lot. And then I absolutely also had to add this toner, another underrated product, if you ask me. This is the Brown Lab Pine Tree Seeker Soothing Toner. I hope I didn't me mess that up. <laughs> yes, it's only written in Hangul. <laughs> so I had to go with memory. The Pine Tree Sika Soothing Skincare range from Round Lab has just really super impressed me all throughout this year. Um, more of their products will turn up in my favorites because I've loved so many of them. This skincare line is predominantly meant for oilier, acne-prone type skin. However, I feel this toner will also work very, very well for sensitive skin. It is a very gentle formula that really focuses strongly on soothing. Very calming ingredients, very high in antioxidants. So it's also really good just for overall um, anti-aging prevention. And what I really like about this is even though it is a very watery liquid toner, it still is very hydrating. Out of the toners that I'm introducing today, this is probably the second most hydrating. There's one that is super hydrating, but this one is very, very close to that. And for that, it feels very light. So another really great one for hot weather, but even now when it is getting really cold here, I've reached for this a lot just because it is so soothing. And I really feel that it doesn't make my skin react in any way whatsoever. It's a good one to choose if your skin is highly reactive, if your skin, unless you're of course allergic to any of the ingredients, mostly Sika, it contains a Sika extract and again, pine tree extract. 
and then it has some hydrators there's just nothing in there that at least for me personally could aggravate my skin and it still provides a really good amount of hydration and soothing uh, it's beautiful all of the pine tree seeker products from round lab deserve far more hype than they're getting in my opinion at least here in the west in korea they're very popular and usually you can get this quite cheap as well and it lasts forever i've used it a lot and it looks as if i've barely used it so just one this is a wonderful product i've noticed that most of the toners <laughs> this year <laughs> contain sika somehow i was really into the sika toners probably because i had so much trouble with redness that just makes me reach for sika hardleaf mugwort those types of toners and the sika stuff this year has just been excellent same with creams Sika creams have been just wonderful this year so here's another Sika toner that I loved loved and it's the Physiogel Red Soothing Sika Balance Toner this one which I've also shown you a couple of times I'm pretty sure in these videos I mean that's just what happens with the favorites right you just kind of show what you liked throughout the year this is another liquid very watery toner texture that mostly relies on a Sika complex. What I feel with the Physiogel Sika line, I've also tried the cream, which unfortunately is quite pricey, but it is really good. The Sika that they use in this, the Centella Asiatica complex, just seems very high quality. I have tried so many Centella Asiatica and Sika products by now that I can really tell when the quality isn't quite there um sika is not always sika you know sometimes it just feels like it's very watered down or i don't know maybe they use parts of the plant that aren't as potent i don't know what it is but i can always tell because i would just kind of feel like eh, this is not really it's a bit like the anua heart leaf toner it's like this is okay but it's not really super wowing me now this always wows me very noticeable anti-inflammatory calming and redness fighting effect comparable to the numbers in toner however it is a little bit more hydrating i would say than the numbers in toner and it really just has a very gentle minimalist formula again it has that in common with most of the toners that i'm introducing today it's always a bit difficult to describe <laughs> why you like one better than the other uh, they are very much neck and neck all the five toners that i'm introducing here are very much neck and neck i just like variety you know <laughs> if i had to choose one and one only i would go for the numbers in one but this one i think works very very well if you are super sensitive and really want to focus on just one ingredient for your inflammation because you might be worried that the others might break you out this contains only Sika, couple of hydrators, is completely fragrance and alcohol free. And that's about it. And it works very well if you're redness prone, acne prone, if you just want something very calming, but also hydrating. It can be a bit pricey. I actually got it for like 17 bucks because it was on special at Olive Young. So watch for special sales, watch for specific value packs and things like that then uh, get it but usually full price is quite quite a bit overpriced so wait for the sales and the last toner that i really loved this year funnily enough i did not actually talk about it that much <laughs> i did write a blog post however <laughs> i kept wanting to talk about it I actually wanted to do a whole video on it but somehow I just, I don't know, I'm thinking about maybe doing two videos per week because honestly, I have so many ideas that I just never get to certain topics. I also wanted to do a whole video on the Anua Tona quote unquote scandal and kind of give my thoughts on it. But somehow I just, again, I'm just kind of overwhelmed with a lot of topics that I want to tackle at the moment. We'll see. Maybe I'll opt it up to two per week. We'll see. We'll see. But anyway, let's go back to get back to the fifth toner that I really loved this year, even though I seem to have not mentioned it that much. But this is a great opportunity to rave about it. And it is one that is hyper viral or was hyper viral, I think, in 2021. I don't actually know what the status is at the moment. 
And it is this one, which is the Haru Haru Wonder Black Rice Hyaluronic Toner. And this is the free version. So fragrance free, alcohol free, etc., etc. And I did a whole blog post on this. If you guys still read blogs, <laughs> definitely not as many people as they used to be. Because <laughs> I actually did um, a paid collaboration on my blog with the brand. But this is not paid. This is just because I really like the toner and wanted to talk about it more, just so you know. So this toner, very popular in the West, not that well known in Korea, but technically this doesn't matter. I know I always say it about Beauty of Joseon as well. I also really understand people that kind of say, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if something is popular in Korea, that doesn't make it better. Just because Koreans buy it, it's kind of a Korea boo thing almost. I have some thoughts about why I think it is important to know if a K-beauty product actually is sold and is popular in Korea. So I always, again, wanted to make a video about this, but it's not because I think it makes a product better. I just think that sometimes there is a distortion when it comes to what the West perceives as K-beauty. But many co smaller Korean brands that predominantly sell overseas and not domestically are fantastic. Haru Haru Wanda, or Haru Haru, I guess, Haru Haru Wanda is a fantastic brand. I already raved about the cleansing oil and I can only rave about this toner because it's beautiful. This is mostly for pure hydration. It still is quite liquid, quite watery, but it certainly has a more viscous sort of silkiness to it, which comes from all the different types of hyaluronic acid in this formula. It just really provides such simple but very effective hydration. This is wonderful for hyper dehydrated skin that nevertheless tends to be overwhelmed if a toner is too thick or too nourishing, which is actually what my skin struggles with. For me, I'm turning 45 soon in January. Hey, Aquarius. And I really struggle with the fact that my skin still tends to break out and it's easily overpowered if a formula is too nourishing. But I do need the nourishment now because I'm definitely starting to dry out, shall we say. <laughs> and I notice a lot of these wrinkles and lines all over my face that are just like sort of these parchment style wrinkles that you get from extreme dehydration. This works very well for that. It's not too heavy. It still is very elegantly, again, I, I want to say silky. And still it provides so much hydration and nourishment. It's also fragrance-free, alcohol-free. I really love that they brought out a fragrance-free version of this toner because they the first one was heavily fragranced with lavender. I tried it ages ago. It was okay. I didn't mind the fragrance as much as other people. I'm not as sensitive to fragrance, but I do think this is an improvement because honestly, the fragrance just didn't add anything. And now it works, I would say, for pretty much all skin types that need deep hydration. It's beautiful. I fully think it deserves its viral status. And it is a wonderful toner as well if you're on a budget because you can find it cheap pretty much anywhere. Stylevana usually has this for like eight bucks or 10 bucks. And it is very, very good quality. I really love this brand. Also having worked with them, they're really nice people. So Haru Haru, I love them. And those were my favorite toners of 2023. It wasn't easy to pick them because I really had a lot of toners that I loved and used very enthusiastically this year. But I decided to go for these five because they were the ones, especially the numbers in one, that I kind of grabbed for the most, I would say. And yeah, the Anua toner is not on the list. <laughs> Let me know if you want a video on the Anua toner. I don't know if you even have heard about the so-called scandal. I don't know. Let me know um, in the comments <laughs> if that is worth a discussion. Also, this whole question of 
is it important if a product is popular in Korea or not? It's an interesting topic, but I never know if people want to hear my thoughts on certain topics. If you are new here, it would be great if you stuck around. Um, next video will probably be on serums and ampoules. We're kind of working our way through the various skincare categories for my 2023 favorites. So it would be great if you stuck around. Subscribers are always warmly welcomed and maybe leave a comment, a like, any type of interaction is always so helpful for us smaller creators. And yeah, I guess I see you in the next video. Until then, please take care. Bye!